a, uh, a chase followed by a shooting in South LA. Yes, there were shots fired at the end of the pursuit. They just never experienced gunshots into my home. Like, my house is not a home anymore. Like, I feel violated. I feel like it's, I can't wake up and feel comfortable no more, like, safe into, you know, I get up every morning and look in the room, like, my key's okay, or, you know, so make sure nothing happens to my bed, you know? Deadly violence in South LA last night. And I don't want my kids to die for nothing. They don't have to die for it. You know, I, don't, I just don't, I just I hate the violence that goes on in the community when we all just stick together. When our house was broken into, we were only at the church for two hours. It came home, and our stuff was already sold on the street. If you look on the internet, the things they say about our community is just burn it down or um, just bulldoze it. And there's such value and such tender lives here and such great things that can happen. And these kids and these families and these adults can make a difference in the kingdom. And that's what we want to see. Watts encompasses two square miles. It's part of South LA. It's known for the government housing units that are here. We live across the street from Imperial Courts. Uh, there's a lot of homelessness here. There's, there's gang tension that's just continual. A lot of drug trafficking. The very first night we had a Bible club for the kids and we had an all out gang fight break out <laughs> in the Bible study. And that Bible study didn't go very well. <laughs> so God has allowed us to have a building that's right in the midst of it all it would be very difficult in the neighborhood where we live to have a congregation that could support us financially. This building behind us, uh, we are looking to sell. We're looking for a partner like Our House who can continue ministry here in this city where we began. Father God, thank you for this day and we thank you for our other brothers and sisters. Housing and buildings in Los Angeles are snatched up instantly, and so there's not a place to rent, a place to lease, this, this is it. If we were not able to buy it and the building was sold, then I don't know what you do. Sorry. I was on drugs, homeless. And since I turned my life over to God, I, didn't have, I got my own place. I got a car now. I even run a recovery ministry. I've been running that for three years here now. What God take away from you, no man can put back on you. Amen. And without me being in Powerhouse Church, I wouldn't be able to come up here and help these people. So we need Powerhouse Church. Amen, amen, amen. I have a drug problem and an alcohol problem. I haven't addressed it properly yet. If I had gone to the meeting with Daryl, I probably would be out of this by now. I'd probably be dead right now, you know, if it wasn't Powerhouse Church. If a guy changed his life, you know, he's, he stays consistent. He has been consistent, and I love him for still loving me. Pastor Todd saw the gift I had for ministry way right before. I could see it. Powerhouse used Todd to use me. Like the kingdom is just going to grow. And I feel personally, if it wasn't for Powerhouse, I would not be here. I definitely wouldn't be a Christian. I feel people should be helping raise funds for this because it is a light in the midst of a dark place. It is a hope when people are hopeless. It is the love of God. It's so important that the gospel is here because it's the future generations that we're talking about. It makes a difference for eternity, what happens here and what happens now. The medical clinic, the health clinic, the crisis pregnancy center, all meet physical needs. Our food box ministry helps families every month. Children come hungry to Bible club, and so we feed them a meal. The light does need to shine here. It's so important that Jesus' name is proclaimed from this corner. That's our mission of our church. If it wasn't here, then that proclamation can't happen. It's just here. Like you could feel the spirit of Christ just here. The light that he puts inside you just starts sparkling. And you start seeing it in the little kids. They're so happy sometimes they don't even want to go home. They want to stay here and just play or they just want to stay here and just, to, just sing. So this is definitely a life changer. I couldn't ask for another church. And you're allowed to raise your hand in that church and ask them, Ask the question if you don't understand. Sometimes I had to stop the procrastination and go out there following God's word. So the day was the day to follow. This is a Samaria in America. 
Samaria is that cross-racial community, and it's the Samaria that's oftentimes overlooked. This neighborhood is full of kids and youth that are just full of potential. Powerhouse provides a place where their potential can be developed and nurtured. That's what we want to see. What is changed and what changes the world. That revival will break out here and it'll spread to everywhere. Your investment here is going to help us to break chains through Watts Powerhouse and it's going to change the trajectory of families' lives for all of eternity. I would like to invite you to partner with Watts Powerhouse Church in helping us to build hope for the broken.